Mike. What's happening, Forum? Show us a video of a rollerblader getting hurt. Well, I just happen to have a video of a rollerblader getting hurt. Uh, did you hear that gut-wrenching, dry-heave sound he made? Honestly, this brave bastard is lucky he didn't bounce his head off the tennis court. I mean, look how close that guy got. Now, at around 150,000 views this week, I think this one deserves a funny voiceover. Oh, man, this trick is gonna get me so laid. <laughs> this is one of those things where you watch it and go, Dude, this ain't Tony Hawk. What the f*** did you think was gonna happen? All right, so there's this really popular video that I just can't figure out. It's of this United States congressman here, Hank Johnson. Now, Hank here is concerned about the island of Guam. He's worried that adding more residents to Guam will literally cause it to tip over. Yeah, my, my fear is that uh, the whole island will uh, become so overly populated that it will tip over and... Uh, and capsize. Wow, he actually said that. Not even Balloon Boy's dad could make some shit up that ridiculous. 1.4 million views in four days. This is definitely the biggest viral video of the week. But like, tip over? What is it, a freaking canoe? Look, I'm certainly not the brightest crayon in the tool shed, but I'm 112% sure that an island works like this. Right here. Not like this. This is not an island. This is some shit from Final Fantasy. Is the congressman also worried that global warming will kill all the underpants gnomes living in the North Pole? Seriously. Underpants gnomes. No, really. He's either playing an April Fool's joke or he's high. I refuse to believe any other explanation. I mean, look, I even did like bar graphs and pie charts to try and figure out his ridiculous statement. And even after busting out the graphing calculator and everything, I got nothing. All right, guys, last video. And it's pretty simple. It's just this woman who claims that her dog listens really well. That's what I want y'all to see how good he mind me. Come on, bring the ball back, boy. Come on, bring it on right. You see, he working his way over this way. Bring the ball back, boy. Bring it on back, son. Thank God, Joe, but I'm over here, boy. Hey, boy. Don't go in that damn water. I'm over here. Don't go. You're going to get wet. Now, literally, what makes this video so awesome is just the woman's commentary. You're going to get wet. I ain't going to take you home. Well, come on. He got his damn feet wet now. Nah, dog. Come on over here, Joe. Come on, let's show them how good you do now. Now, Forum, I don't come down to the strip club and tell your mom how to do her job, so I don't want to tell this woman how to train her dog. But I'm 112% sure that she's doing it wrong. Ponder the whole situation, cause he, he... Oh, Joe, man, what you doing, dog? Joe, man, that's the nastiest thing I ever seen you do. Is bring your ball. This sh gonna get on your ball. Bring it on back. Oh, boy. No, you making a mess. Oh, good night. No, crank that car, girl. Crank that car. Get me all out of here. I ain't taking that old sh dog out with me. Now, this video didn't really go viral. It only got about 90,000 views in about a year and a half. But I still think it's one of the funniest videos I've seen in a long time. But you know what else might kill all the underpants gnomes living at the North Pole? The comment question of the day, which comes from a user named Emmer's Color. And she said, My question is, what is the weirdest or best thing you've ever done in front of a camera. So what's the weirdest thing you've ever done in front of a camera? Leave your interesting or creative responses in the comment section below. But thanks for watching today's episode of Equals 3. I'm Ray William Johnson and I approve this message. Yeah, so about the last comment question of the day, YouTube like screwed up my channel somehow and you can't see the comments on the last video. So just for today, until they fix it, I've only got one comment to show you. Enjoy. You know we straight with you in your mind. Joe, man, that's the nastiest thing.